So what airline should you choose from Hawaii to Japan? After all, it's about an eight hour flight to Japan from Hawaii and another six hours or so back to Hawaii. And having flown from Hawaii to Japan and back four times, I wanna share why I would highly recommend Japan Airlines. And a big reason is this card that we received on our latest flight, but I will get my wife to explain that later. And I know that this video may sound like it's sponsored content, but it's not. I really just want to share why I appreciate and why we really appreciate as a family, Japan Airlines and the wonderful service that they provide. But of course, if Japan Airlines ever saw this video and wanted to partner up, let's talk. So if customer service is something that you highly value, you know that experience before the flight, during the flight and after the flight, then to me, there's none better than Japan Airlines. Okay, so let's start with before the flight. I'm talking about the experience from the curb at Honolulu International Airport, when you check in, TSA line, and then you get to the actual gate. I've always found that experience to be really smooth, particularly when you check in with Jiao in Honolulu and also when you check in when you're in Japan. Now on our way to Japan on this trip, we had a guy who helped us out. And what I really liked was after we were all done checking in, he brought out this map and he showed us where we were and where our gate was in relation to where we were checking in. And he said, okay, your gate is right here. And so you're gonna go through the TSA line and turn right, and it should be about a 10 minute walk. I mean, that is amazing because I'm not familiar with the Honolulu airport at all. Like I know where terminal one is and terminal two is. I barely know where to drop people off or pick people up. And the fact that we're now traveling with two kids and it makes it a lot more stressful. He just de-escalated that stress because now I know exactly where we're going. I'm not here to badmouth other airlines or speak poorly of them. But I do wanna share what happened to me this one time when I was going to Japan, because I think that it provides a very big contrast in terms of the customer service pre-flight. So on my second trip to Japan, we didn't choose JAL, and instead we chose another airlines. And the check-in and the TSA line were out the door. It was crazy. It was like out the door, around the pillar, on the sidewalk. It was like ridiculous. And I was wondering, what is going on? But that was in Honolulu. But what really separated Jiao from this particular airlines was the experience that I had in Japan as I was trying to get back home to Hawaii. So on this particular trip with this particular airlines, I was coming back home and we decided to go to Narita Airport a little bit early. We figured, oh, we're gonna go check in and then we go and have some dinner and then we just ease our way taking our time, going shopping, doing whatever we wanted, and then we just go home. But the problem was when we got to the airport, the airlines wasn't open. We couldn't check in. And so we had to take our luggage up to where they have those restaurants at Narita, and we had to eat dinner with our luggage. It was a small inconvenience, but still it's one of those things that I wish we could have just checked in. And I know that if we had flown gel, they have tons of customer service reps ready to check us in. After dinner, we came back down. Of course, they were open, but at that point, the line to check in was super long, and so we had to now wait, and I wish we could have just checked in beforehand. Now, granted, that was a while ago, and maybe things have changed, but ever since that experience, I know that with JAL, they will always be open. When I go to a Japanese airport, they're gonna be open because Japan Airlines is a pretty big airline. It's just one less thing that I have to worry about as I'm flying. I'm trying to find the perfect light here in this interesting room. All right, so now let's talk about the service in flight. And I'm talking about just the flight attendants and the service that they provide, the accommodations of the seating, as well as the meals. The service with Japan Airlines has always been amazing. I don't know if it's a Japanese cultural thing or is it just a work, like a brand, company cultural thing. But to me, that's absolutely amazing. And it's really what sets it apart from any of the domestic airlines that we have in America. And again, I've traveled a lot in our island and from Hawaii to the mainland. And once you travel with an airlines like that, the contrast is very noticeable. Now, I think a lot of flight attendants are very friendly, but the way that I would describe the flight attendants on Japan Airlines is 
they're just very agreeable and professional, but like, they're just very agreeable. They make me feel like they are there to take care of me and to serve me throughout the flight. And I feel very valued as a customer, even though I know that they're serving dozens of other people on the flight at the same time. Because I still remember the first time I flew on Japan Airlines. It was my first time going to Japan and the service was outstanding. They were so nice to me, but they just made sure that I had everything that I needed to be comfortable on the flight. And it really was a perfect introduction to the great customer service that most of Japan has, which is, I absolutely love that. And it's very interesting, the difference with the customer service, Japan and Hawaii, because you'd think with Hawaii being a tourist destination that we'd have the best customer service. And we're definitely friendly. We have that aloha spirit, but the customer service in Japan is it's like next level. The light is fading on me. How is it? It's about the same. And as a first time flyer with kids, I just want to say I'm so appreciative of how they took care of us, especially my wife. They really encouraged her because they knew it was our first time flying with two young kids. And it's something that as a husband, I noticed and I really appreciate. They were quick to set up the bassinet for my youngest son and they always communicated with my wife when it would be time to have the required, you know, seat belts fully fastened. And that would mean for us to get ready because we have to get our kids ready to go because if you ever traveled with young kids, you know, they don't always like to be in the seat belt. And to quickly go over meals and general accommodations, the meals are very good. They taste pretty good for airplane food and the accommodations on the plane were amazing. It looked like the seats were new. I don't know, it's been a while, maybe at least a few years since I traveled with Jiao because of what was going on, but the seats looked really nice. And they had a lot of great movies that I wish I had time to watch. I know that they used to give out airplane slippers, but not anymore for economy class, which is totally fine, understandable, but I do bring my own now. And the last thing I want to talk about was the post flight experience, something that maybe most people don't really care about because they just want to get there. And once they're done, they just want to get their bags and, and leave. But I want to share our post flight experience because I think it's really important that people hear this kind of stuff. And for our particular flight, it wasn't that full. I'd say it's about 30% full. So it was a pretty empty flight from Hawaii to Japan. And because we got young kids, we just waited until everybody got off the plane because there really wasn't that many people on the plane. And then we just took our time to go and get our strollers because we gate checked both our strollers. Obviously it was really nice that both of the strollers were right there waiting for us. But what was really nice was that one of the flight attendants helped us with our carry on luggage because we had two sleeping kids at that point and we're trying to pack them and get ready. And she offered to carry our couple of bags for us. And that's not her job, right? But the fact is that she did it and it's really great. It's one of the things that I'll remember from that flight because we didn't need that help. I carried the bags into the plane and it was totally fine, but she offered to help and it really meant a lot to my wife. And after an eight hour flight with two kids and no sleep, I appreciate that. Now I didn't find out about this little card and the note that the flight attendants left for my wife until way later but I just wanted to bring in my wife to just share what they said and how it made her feel. Okay, so it says, Thank you so much for choosing JL Airline today. Um, it must be so overwhelming and, and I'm feeling anxious uh, to travel with uh, two kids. Uh, we are more than happy to help you and assist you um, on your way back to Hawaii. Um, on Hawaii, so please, uh, Enjoy your time with your family and um, and have a have a great time in Japan uh, from the the crew attendant. I think the reason why this person, um, well, I guess this flight attendant, um, uh, wrote wrote what she said was because as I as we finally we were as we were able to land as we landed on in Japan, I just I was just overwhelmed. Like I was. It was so weird. It was I started crying as soon as we landed, and I think that's because I was just like relieved in a way that um, 
that this traveling with two kids were over. It's one of the most stressful things I've experienced in my whole life. And at the same time, just made me think a lot about how it's the three years has passed since the last time we came here. You know, the last time we went, we came back to Hawaii was um, when we were pregnant with our first son. And then we didn't expect COVID to happen back then. You know, it will be, and we thought that, you know, we'll be able to see our family more and travel more and all that. But then just we couldn't. And in three years, and we had our two sons this year too. I mean, second son. Um, second son. And it's just like, Japan's not that far from Hawaii. Yet. It was such a hard place for us to, to visit. And, you know, I was just like, I was just kind of feeling like, I don't know, very overwhelmed. It's second home for me, yet it's so far. It felt so far, even though it's not that far. And the fact that we were finally able to come, it just made me cry. <laughs> and I, and this person saw me crying. I think, yeah, she said that you're like, well, like, you know, like, uh, so, and yeah, so that's why, like, she decided to, I think, write this car as she was landing, as we were landing Japan. Yeah. But it's just the hospitality that, that JL provides in um, general. It's um, it's amazing. I mean, it's not our first time using this. You know, I kind of grew up with this air, um, this airline, um, but still, it's it, it was our first time traveling with two kids. And, you know, it's... Nine hours is long with wild toddler and with full energy. So, I mean, I'm glad that we were, we were able to I mean, land safe and, and we chose DL for our first time because they assisted us very well. Now, if you're someone who just wants the cheapest flight from Hawaii to Japan, then Japan Airlines may not be for you. They do have a budget airlines, but Japan Airlines may not be for you. But I figure you get what you pay for. For a flight that long, to me, it's absolutely worth it. And this isn't an airlines review video. I'm not planning on trying every single airlines and comparing them to JAL and, and all the different ones. That's not really what I do on this YouTube channel. But I do recognize amazing service when I see it and I feel it. And to me, Japan Airlines is absolutely the best. It's the airlines that me and my family are going to use every time we go from Hawaii to Japan and back. And I'm willing to pay for that. Other people may not be willing to pay for it and that's totally understandable. It's within their travel budget. But I would put out there and challenge local people to try Japan Airlines just one time from Hawaii to Japan and see if you don't agree. Because after you try JAL, it's really hard to go back to any other airlines. So again, I just really want to thank Japan Airlines for the wonderful experience that they gave us as first time travelers with two young kids. They did everything absolutely right, even though it was tough for me and my, my, my wife. They did everything absolutely right. And they did their job and beyond to make sure that we had a great flying experience. So it's gonna get dark soon. So thanks for watching and aloha.